Good afternoon, good friends. I'm going to show you how to create sentences with adjectives in Mayan Kachikel language. On our left side here on the screen, we have a list of adjectives. I'm going to spell them. Hakel, Hakel means open, Nush means cut or short, Kut means cut or short. Hisil means long. Hotol shahil means a price that is uh, on a high position because hotol means high position. That means, uh, in other words, expensive. Man hotol ta shahil. This is the negation of the previous uh, phrase. So. This means cheap because the price is not high. Kazan Rahil means cheap too. That's the, the, uh, a shorter way to tell the, that is, something is cheap. And Zapel means closed. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight adjectives. And on the right side of our panel, we have some substantives. Ri wachach means the eye. Ri shunak ruwech means his or her eye. Ri chiach means the mouth. Ri ruchi means his or her mouth. Ri abach means the hand while rukab uh, means her or his hand. Shri sumal we ah means the hair, while ri rusumal ruwi means her or his hair. Ri ojoni bel means the phone, while ri royoni bel means his or her phone. Ri kamisha means the shirt, while ri, uh, while rukamisha means his or her shirt, while at the end we have risak means the light. This exercise was uh, designed to train students to recognize the two ways that you can speak about a substantive. You can say or speak about the substantive with no possessive uh, attached to the substantive and you can speak about the substantive with a possessive attached to it because in Mayan language, in Mayan Kachika language, the possessive adjectives, so to speak, uh, are attached directly to the substantive for me, a new word. So this is uh, relatively complex to explain at the end, at the beginning of, uh, of a, a learning experience with Mayan Kachikel, but we are going to step onto this problem and we are going to to show how to create new sentences, new phrases without paying too much attention to the grammatical details of uh, possessives and and substantive with possessions and substantive the uh, substantive changes with possessives but instead of that we are going to use both forms of the substantive without possessives and with possessives so let's start hakel shi wachach nush ri Oyo nivel. Nuish ri kamisha. Nuish ri rukamisha. Hakel ri rukamisha. Hakel ri kamisha. Hakel ri oyo nivel. Hakel ri oyo nivel. Hakel ri rukabaj. Hakel rukab. Hakel Ri ruchi, hakel ri chi ah. Hakel ri wachach, hakel ri runak 
through which. What we are, have done is using the adjective open with most of the substantives that we have here in our list. I must acknowledge that this is going to be funny because I am actually speaking with into languages that are not my first language myself. So <laughs> this is a, a, a game, but it, it is a, a way to experience with teaching in English language and teaching items or grammatic grammar from other third language. In this case, Mayan Kachikel. Although Mayan Kachikel is one of the uh, national languages here in Guatemala. Mayan Kachikel is a very nice language, a language that I have studied for already two years. Now, okay, let's see what is uh, our next problem here. The substantive uh, eye or mouth or hand, uh, hair, telephone, uh, the, the device, of course, uh, the shirt or the light cannot be uh, described using the adjective nush. For example, nush means short. So we cannot say uh, uh, an eye is short, the mouth is short, hand is short, but in with the hand, we can say that uh, one hand is short. With the hair, we can say that the shirt, the, the hair is short. The phone, I don't think it's going to be uh, meaningful to say that uh, uh, a telephone is short. But the shirt, you can say it is short. And the light, you cannot say it is short. So we are going to highlight here the substantives that we are going to use to create new sentences with the adjective short. Another thing interesting here with Mayan Kachikel is that the, so the adjectives are always before the substantive, pretty much like in the English language. Another uh, interesting detail with the Mayan Kachika language is that it has not genders. You cannot say that something is a he or a she, or it is masculine or feminine, except for some very particular and obvious situations. Like when you are speaking about father and mother, sister and brother, then in that situations, you, you have to use a substantive that is either female or male described. Okay, so we are going to use now the adjective nush. Uh, you have to see that nush means short and nush ends with a y and the y at the end of a word is pronounced sh, nush, nush. So we can say Nush rik abach, nush ruk ab, nush ri sumal wi ach, nush ri rusumal shuwi, nush rikamisha, nush rukamisha. Let's explain each of these sentences. Nush rik abach means the hand is short, but this hand is not possessed by a particular person or a particular uh, um, individual. But if we say nush rukav, we are speaking that his or her hand is short. As always, the adjective is always before the substantive that is modified. With the with the sentence nush ri sumal wiach, this means the hair is short, or literally short is the hair. And we if we say nush ri rusumal shui, we are saying that his or her hair is short, but 
you can say in English that the adjective is after the substantive in these sentences. The hair is short. You never say the short hair because that doesn't have meaning in English. It's just a phrase. It's just another item that is going to be attached to a meaningful sentence. But in Mayan Kachikel, when you say Nuish Rusumal Wiag, you are expressing not a phrase, but instead of that, you are expressing a sentence. This is because in Mayan Kachikel language, you don't have the verb to be. So when you say Nuish ri Rusumal Wiag, you are telling short is the hair or the hair is short and the presence of the verb to be is implied it's, it is implicit in the expression when you say nuish ri rusumal ruwi you are telling that his or her hair is short somebody's calling me so Okay, also in Mayan Kachikel language, there is not, at least yet, a difference between the adjective itself and uh, an adjective that comes or is derived from a verb. For example, in this, in this next substantive that is cut. Cut in in, in Mayan Kachikel, you say cut, and it is translated here as cut in the sense that it is taken from some other part, or probably it has been it is a part of it has been taken away taken away so the item or the substantive or the thing that you are describing seems to be shorter now let use this the adjective could could rikbach could ri could rukab could ri sumal wiach could ri rusumal rui could ri kamisha could ri rukam could Ru Kamisha. I, I am trying to, to I am a, <laughs> I'm kind of repeating like a crutch with uh, the re. It's a it's a bison. When you are learning Mayan Kachikel, you are accustomed so accustomed to to utilize the the re the re the word re means the the terminate adjective. Okay. Sometimes uh, when you utilize it in in places that that is not needed at all, you are constructing uh, redundant sentences, and it is a bias. It is a bias. Now let's go to the adjective hisil. Hisil means the opposite of of nuish and the opposite of of kut. So hisil shikabach. Hisil Shukab, Hisil Shi Sumal Wiah, Hisil Shi Shusumal Shui, Hisil Ri Kamisha, Hisil Ru Kamisha. Is exactly the opposite of Kut and Nush. What I said is long is the hand, long is her or his hand. Long is the hair, long is his or her hair, long is the shirt, and long is his or her shirt. Now the two adjectives, uh, the following hotol shahil is a compound adjective that means hotol means in a high uh, situation and uh, Rahil is itself a phrase that means its cost. Ahil means cost 
and Shahil means its cost, while Hotol means in a high place. Hotol is, in this case, the adjective itself. <coughs> I'm sorry. With the other word uh, or the other phrase, man hotol ta shahil, what we are telling is that we are denying that situ the condition that uh, hotol, hotol, it, that means uh, in a high place, is denied by the two particles, man before it and ta after it. That means not true, hotol exists at shahil. That means man hotol ta shahil. It is not high the cost, so it means um, it means cheap. While kasan shahil actually is another compound adjective, and it literally means cheap. Kasan shahil means cheap. Pretty much in the way that we say that the the, the price or the cost is high we say that the, pro the cost is low, that means cheap. So these three adjectives are going to function in the same way or meaning the same thing. So <clears throat> how, can, how can we use the, the adjective cheap or, or expensive, Hotol Shahil means expensive, with these substantives? I mean, the eye, mouth, hand cannot be, cannot be either cheap or expensive. Hair cannot be cheap or expensive. But a telephone, it can be cheap or it can be expensive. Of course, the shirt can be cheap or expensive, of course, and the light mean the light, the, the thing that you are using to illuminate yourself, it can be cheap or expensive. So you, with these three, three adjectives, you can construct another sentences with this small vocabulary. You can say Hotol Shahil, she or Johnny Bell, Hotol Shahil, she or Johnny Bell, Hotol Shahil, she Kamisha, Hotol Shahil, she Kamisha. Hotol Shahil Sri Sak. And you can say in this case, you say that uh, the phone is expensive, his phone is expensive, the shirt is expensive, his shirt is expensive, and that the light is expensive. You cannot, you cannot possess the light. The light is something that is in material, so to speak. You cannot grasp it with your hands. <coughs> or you can <coughs> say, this is mine, because when you light, something the, the light doesn't uh, 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 you cannot hold the light in one uh, sp particular space because if you uh, put a light uh, uh, at your garden and you turn it on you are going to illuminate probably parts of the street and that light uh, you cannot say it's my light it's Mine is the service or mine is the, the electric bulb, but the light itself cannot be possessed. So this is the way the Mayan language just uh, function. They are logical. Now, when you say, when you deny that something is, is expensive because its cost is high, you say, manjo tol ta shahil. Uh, in, this, in this sense, you can say, manjo tol ta shahil si o Johnny Bell, Manjo Tolta Shahil si Johnny Bell, Manjo Tolta Shahil si Kamisha, Manjo Tolta Shahil ru Kamisha, Manjo Tolta Shahil si Sak. And in the same way, you can say the opposite that it is cheap. I mean, the cost is cheap of the phone, the shirt, or the light. And you can say Kasan Shahil si o Johnny Bell, Kasan Shahil si o Johnny Bell, Kasan Shahil si Kamisha, Kasan Shahil si Ru Kamisha, Kasan Shahil si Sak. What I just said is that cheap is the telephone, cheap is his telephone, cheap is the shirt, cheap is his shirt, and cheap is the light. 
Now let's go and use the last of the adjectives in our list, sapel. Sapel means it is closed. It is closed. It is the opposite of open. So we can use sapel with eye, with mouth, with hand. You cannot use it with hair. You can use it with telephone. You can use it with shirt. And I don't remember if you can use it with light because you can say the light is closed. I mean, it's turned off. So let's leave it away from our exercise for the time being. So we can say sapel fi the eye is closed. The eye is closed. And we can say sapel fi shunak shuwech, his eye is closed. You can say sapel fi the mouth is closed. And you can say sapel fi shuchi, his mouth is closed. Sapel shik abach, the hand is closed. Or you can say sapel shuk ab, his hand is closed. You can say the telephone is closed. Sapel shi o Johnny Bell, but these telephones are have no longer uh, the lid that you used to close it. So, it's not going to be really, really, it's not going to make a sense. It's not going to be logical to tell yeah. this. So, we are going to cancel the, uh, the part of uh, using sapel with or with telephone. But the shirt can be either closed or open. This is logical to say. So, I can say sapel fi camisa. And I can say sapel fi camisa. Sapel fi camisa means the shirt is closed. Not mentioning who is the owner of the shirt. And you can say sapel fi camisa. In this case, you are telling who is the owner of this shirt. And in the same sense, you could use the, neg the negative of sapel in the same in this in this way. You can say man sapel ta shikamisha. Not true. Open is the shirt. Interesting. Maya languages are very very logical. It's not uh, something to me to, to, to feel strange about. I mean, it is not rare or it is not unusual to find that the Mayan people invented zero, invented mathematics, and invented a lot of astronomical uh, devices to, in order to, to, to find the truth of nature. And this is reflected in the Mayan language itself because it is, it is still it is very very logical in its in the way it uses the words and the way it constructs the words too. We'll see you next time. Thank you for your attention.